I got the blue truck, the blue truck, you know, uh, which is the one I still got, got today. Uh, and uh, I leased on to, uh, I wanted a little bit more control and more money. So I leased on to my next company, um, Suntech. Why you sleeping on us? Why you sleeping on us? No cap, we gonna have to make them believe us. <laughs> they told me the they transferred the truck from Springfield to Atlanta for free. Um, and uh, pretty much a week before I turned the truck in, they found out that I had a day cab. And uh, they was like, hey, we need, hey, you ain't supposed to run like that. How was you doing laws? I was, I was doing paper laws. They was like, that's illegal. I was like, well, the truck, I'm ready to turn this truck in right now. They was like, okay. And then they was like, well, we need the, we need IFTA receipts and stuff like that. I was like, I ain't got them. And then <laughs> I was like, what y'all want to do? You know what I'm saying? Well, you need to figure it, figure it out. And you got X amount of days to figure it out. I was like, man, whatever. <laughs> so uh, I, I just kept moving, whatever. By that time, I got the blue truck. They shipped to Atlanta. Maybe about, I got everything straight. Um, and, uh, Let's see, December, I think I ran with them to December all the way up to, well, not December, January, all the way up to, uh, let's see, uh, I think I stayed with them from January all the way to March. Yeah, January all the way to March. I stayed with Metal Art. So those and, three months, uh, right? Yeah, about three months, two or three months, something like that. Right. And, uh, and then uh, I chunked the deuces with them, uh, chugged the deuces with them, departed ways, and- uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that program is gone. <laughs> I don't we, know, I never really looked into it. I, I don't know, I, I'm, I was gonna do a checkup on it and see if they still got that program. Yeah, huh? that's an easy yeah, app. I don't know. Yeah, I think I was one of the first ones or first few people to do that program they had launched off. And mm -hmm. I guess they probably gonna call, catch on to that because that's what I'm it's saying. easy payback. Yeah, it's easy to pay back thirty five hundred dollars and get in jail. Yeah. Huh. You know what I'm saying? So I got the blue truck, the blue truck, you know, uh, which is the one I still got got today. Uh, and uh, I leased on to uh, I wanted a little bit more control and more money, so I leased on to my next company, um, SunTech, out of Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. And I was able to do whatever I wanted to do, book my own loads. Um, I already had experience booking my own loads. And this is when I started to understand what I was doing more, finding my niche. Mind you, I'm still doing driving. Um, and I was finding, I was staying in my lane. I was running up from PA all the way to Florida and back. That's all I did, PA to Florida. You know, uh, booking my own freight they didn't bother me. You know, I had a good experience with SunTech. Uh, it was pretty good company too. Um, 80, at an 83, 83-18 split, or 83, was it 80, no, 82, was it 82 or 83 percent to the truck, right. I can't remember. What was your home? Pretty good. It was pretty good, you know, and I, you know, I stayed with them, I had some issues with the truck, you know, death-related issues, you know, fixed it, took care of it. I still had the warranty on it. They took care of some of the stuff, but... Um, that warranty weren't worth nothing at the end of the day. <laughs> That's but, true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so man. I stayed with them, SunTech. I can't really, they really much say about SunTech because it pretty much was the owner operated company. You know, they had no company drivers. It was just, you know, book your own freight, go where you want to go and, you know, do what you want to do. Um, I was there for quite a while. I was there to, from March of 2018 all the way to uh, was it, was it 2018? No, March of 2019, all the way to uh, November, no, October of 2019. So I was with them for a little while. So you, then, you decided uh, your, your home time and everything like that? Mm -hmm, I was home every weekend. Okay. I found a lane, you know, I was passed through the house all the time. Okay. So I was home every weekend. Sometimes I work over the weekend, depending on the situation, but most times I was home every weekend. Okay. And uh, 
then you know uh stack some money up get like the whole time i'm still on youtube doing my research and uh i got my uh i made the move well well actually exclamation thoughts on youtube he was a big part of my my decision he got me because he was already doing reefer and uh at the time I'm doing driving and you know he he stated hey I'm ready to get my authority I was like well I'm gonna just continue leasing on man you know um I don't want to get my authority you know and then you know I thought about it he's like man you should get your authority man uh stop giving up that percentage to that carry you know start doing the numbers I started seeing how much I was giving to carry me he's talking 30 40 grand to a carry every year so he was like uh I started looking into it and you know and i was like he got his authority two months before i did and i was like uh you know what i went out got a loan you know um got a loan but i didn't want to get my authority with a drive in so he kind of convinced me getting a reefer okay so i went out, i got a loan started my authority and bought a reefer trailer all at the same time and uh and that was november of 2019 uh, well, I, actually, October 2019, I got the, the authority in the uh, the authority in the uh, reefer, but I didn't go active till November. Um, but uh, got my own authority, best thing, best decision I could ever <laughs> did. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, any business you start, man, uh, you're gonna go through some hurdles, you know. I so I got the I got the trailer, got my authority, doing my thing. Um, you know, had a little couple of humps there and here and there, but I was able to, you know, take care of it maintenance wise, breakdowns, you know, that's going to happen. You know, got had credit, you know, uh, had to figure out my niche still, still had to figure it out. I was still running. I was still running like I was running when I was leased on with Suntex. So I was still running out. I was still on the road, but I was still home every weekend. So I was still playing that lane and I started finding some niche, my niche, but then you know, COVID hit out of nowhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it stopped everything. Um, and I had to figure out, figure out what I was gonna do because the rates was down to 90 cents a mile. And you ain't gonna be able to work like that. Yeah, it was down like 90 cents a mile, you know, dollar twenty a mile. I can't run like that, you know. So I had to figure out another uh, I had to figure out something. So I was running to Florida. I was running from Florida and coming back. And then I would play around with convoy doing water loads, you know, just to, just to keep, just to pay my bills. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then uh, I had a, then I ran into a broker that had a lane from North Carolina to Florida. He was paying like, I don't know, 2,500 going in. I was like, shoot, I need that money. 2500 going in and yeah. coming out, I was taking, it wasn't much taken out. I had a dead head out of there, you know, and find some. But I knew that 25, he had it every week. So I would run it twice a week. Um, but he had it every he had it every day. And I would run it twice a week. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I would make my gross. So um, and then uh eventually. That's when I ran to, I was doing that for about a couple months. And eventually I ran to the, the guy that really changed the game for me. <laughs> with okay. what I'm doing right now, uh, with that, that lane, I'm doing uh, 200, 200 mile, 220 miles, loaded miles every day, home every day. And uh, I was doing that for a while, stacked, some, stacked my money up. Well, I already had money saved up, but I was stacking more money up. And then I eventually bought, two more trailers cash all right now uh, <laughs> the title got the title okay so, a long way now you're here yeah now we up three trailers yeah up three trailers um and then uh so i got three trailers one truck i always gonna build my i built my business off on i'm gonna build it off, i built it off on operators i never built it off w2 employees so uh I already knew I was gonna go that route anyways. Um, but then, um, so I got the lane, so I'm doing that, staying on the lane, 
still on the lane to this day. So we've been on the lane for what six months now, seven months now, uh, seven months, going on eight months. Same lane every day. Man, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so that help me. I always tell people the consistent money is always better than the here and there money. Always, bro. Always. Yeah. Always. You can count on it, it change your yeah. world. Yeah. So I started. I did that to. So I got that lane in July, and uh, July. So I'm coming up September. I wanted to get my insurance renewed. But I couldn't renew my insurance till November, but I found an insurance company that renewed it in September. So I renewed my insurance in September, got a better rate. I went from 20, 21,000 a year to, in November, I hired my first driver. November of 2020, yes, I hired sir. my first driver. And uh, now we got, we got a, uh, it's January now, so now we got uh, four drivers, well, mm. three drivers coming, three drivers on their way. Three drivers will be here in the next, next two weeks. Why you sleeping on us? Why you sleeping on us? No cap, we gonna have to make them believe.